G'day, I'm Peter from Inspired to Act. Uh, look, normally we would be doing a Periscope today, but we've got a little bit of a challenge with the app playing up for us here. So I decided to uh, finish my seven day challenge uh, with a video. Now, the interesting thing about this challenge was uh, we've had a few uh, had a few hecklers, we've had a few funny comments, but it still means that we've been able to get to the end of it. And that's really what the last section of this um, video is really about and this little series that I put together is about. Um, you need to be able to keep the end in mind. You know, if you look at yourself starting, if this is you here and you need to get to your goal or your destination or whatever it is, there's a lot of, a lot of road in the middle. And that road in the middle is where we all get stuck. Now, the road in the middle can be how we believe, how we think and how we act or what we listen to. And if we keep listening to what everyone else is saying when you're trying to get your dreams and achieve your realities, you're not going to get there. Even this morning I went down to Jazine Barracks and I'll try and do a periscope on Saturday or something to show you how great that area is. Um, and the wind just could, I couldn't get into a position where the wind wasn't blowing, and which is great because it's a beautiful day here in, in the tropical north. But I, I suppose one of the biggest downfalls that I've found over the last couple of years is I've always set myself to deadlines and that I need to make it by this now or else. And that or else ended up being a, a bit of a debilitating effect on me because I would get down on myself when I didn't make that goal. Now as an entrepreneur working from home, um, relying on other people to, uh, to do bits and pieces for you, you'll learn to look past that because life is what we're given. You know, we can't really change life. We just got to work with what we have. And it's the same as you may set a goal to earn a certain amount of money. Mine was to bring 16 people to an event at the Gold Coast and it's still open. So anyone who is interested, just go to the website socialbiz.com and put your details down there and I'll give you a call. And if you can, even if you can't make the event and you're interested in what I'm doing, put your details down there on that website. I can have a chat and we can send some information through to you. But the reality is between, if you consider your where you are now and where your dream is, you've probably put a timeline on it. Well, successful people just shift the, the timeline. They try and work as closely to that deadline as they need to, as a motivation and as a passion to get there. But what tends to happen is if, if you haven't got all the answers and you're learning and you keep putting these deadlines, you start counting the deadlines. And eventually in that area, which may be you know, two feet wide, it doesn't really matter how wide, you end up putting all these doubts. So you, and I call it filling the spring. You keep putting another curl in the spring, curl in the spring, curl in the spring until all of a sudden, the only way is to quit and move on. So just from, from, um, from my point of view, just remove the deadline. Be a little bit more flexible with how you want to achieve your goal and how everything else then everything else seems to fall into place. So that's basically what our little tip for today is. I just want to go over a summary of what we've done in the last couple of weeks for anyone who hasn't uh, been following us and we possibly won't be looking at the Periscope, Periscope option for this type of training because uh, we did, after sourcing a lot of information, we're sort of not targeting the right people and that's fine. Um, but you've got to have a go at these things and this to me was a challenge to see whether I could pull it off and actually get the whole thing together. But one of the first sessions we talked about breaking through your fears, and that's pretty much what I've been able to do. Um, you have a preconceived idea of what everyone else thinks. Um, so you naturally want to hold yourself back. Well, to be successful or to become something different or greater, you've got to learn to push through that. The other thing, the next day we spoke about circumstances. We've all got circumstances. We've got circumstances of money, which is a big one that holds people back. We've got circumstances of, you know, ability. 
Um, and that was probably one for me for doing live video chats and that sort of thing because I didn't think I had enough information to give anyone that was of, of any use. Um, if you want to go and talk about sheep and shearing and, and farming stuff, I could talk on it all day. But I also realised that the circumstances of falling back to what you know won't propel you forward for what you want to know. We, we also uh, spoke about um, your reality. You know, what you are experiencing today doesn't have to be. Um, it's up to you to make the change. And that change has to become with your comfort zone expanding so that everything starts to feel different. And uh, one of the most calming things that I've only just started to do is, um, is to sit down and calm my mind, which is a form of meditation, I suppose, but just I've literally told my mind to shut up. So just for two or three minutes every day, just don't think of anything. And it really, the first couple of times you do it, you feel scared, apprehensive, wondering what the hell's going on. And you're actually taking control of your mind not to think about anything. And what happens is, all of a sudden, you feel vulnerable. And then after a week or so, or two weeks, you get to a point where I'm at at the moment, where I can stop at lunchtime, and I will just literally make myself not think about anything. And it's just like the recharge you've never sort of had. And it really is something, and, and a trait that you can sort of uh, really get into. The other thing we talked about was, you know, personal development and throwing seeds on the ground. And that's what life is about, throwing seeds on the ground. Jim Rohn first explained this analogy to me uh, in a different form, and I've just put it into my own language. We can throw seeds on the ground, but not all of them are going to grow. Some seeds will uh, blow away and be eaten by birds. Some, some seeds will be will float away, some seeds will fall in a hard area and won't grow, and yet some seeds boom, and they flourish into something amazing. That's life. That's every aspect of life. And because Jim Rowan um, came from a farming background, that's how I got my total interest in, in what personal development does and it is. It is about throwing something out and having a go at it. Not everything you throw out is going to be useful. And then, as I've seen over the last eight years, some of those seeds that fall on hard areas start to grow. And those hard areas are your beliefs in your mind of what you believe is not possible for you. And you need to be able to step forward and try. Because the more you experience in life, the more you get out of it. And I think that's one of the learning curves I've learned just doing this video stuff is that you really can offer something to someone else. You have enough information just through your experiences to help someone else move to theirs. And I think the final uh, thing we sort of spoke about was um, uncovering who you really are. And it's probably one of the hardest things. We all live and are judged by us, other people, and what other people think. And they're just a couple of very simple notions that you just have to let go of. And it sounds like, you know, they said, he said, you know, in the end, what is it that you want? What do you want in your life to become amazing? What do you need in your life to become amazing? Most people say money, but you know what? It's Money is just the byproduct of what you offer someone. It's not the be and end all. I know a massive amount of people from mining who are extraordinarily wealthy, yet they're the unhappiest people in themselves. And I know that for a fact because I was one of those before I started. So you can earn the money, but there's always something burning inside that needs to be repaired. And you can't fix anything from the outside. You can't buy a solution for yourself without looking inside to find out what it is that's eating you up. And that's what this Periscope thing and this challenge has been about. It's been about trying to get that fear of speaking to people outside and deliver something that's of benefit. 
Now, the other thing I want to uh, deliver, which I believe is of great benefit, is we have an amazing podcast that uh, is a free podcast for you just to go and listen to some theories of personal development that you can really sit down. They go for about an hour or so. And once a week, they're on a Saturday, and you can go and listen and, and learn about something new. We all need to recharge our minds. We all need to find something that is different if you want to change something because you can't get any new ideas from inside your own head. They have to come from the outside. You may be the smartest person in the world, but if you want to change something, you have to look outside of where you are now. Now, the podcast, you can easily log on to it and I can send you an SMS through. Um, it is uh, getintolife.info. The other thing that we have, again, is on uh, the 16th, we have a free event uh, to come and have a look at the personal development industry on the Gold Coast. I will be down there. So if you really want to come and have a look, it's a free event. All we need to do is for you to jump on the website socialbiz.com and register for that and we can rock up down there and two hours of your time to see whether this is something that you can see yourself doing. Then, and to finish off uh, on this um, wonderful Tropical Friday, um, I want to leave you with one little quote that has really made me open my eyes to make sure that I'm being authentic and it's called uh, You Can't Cheat the Man in the Glass. You can fool the whole world on your travels through life and get pats on the back as you pass, but the final reward will be heartache and tears if you've cheated the man in the glass. Thank you for joining me and I wish you all the best. Cheers.